Hey everyone, this is your host Zainul Hassan and in today's video we will install Rush. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now this is the main repository of Rush. You can find the link in description and here you can read the basic overview of Rush and what the features are available in Rush. Now head over to wiki and here you can read a detailed guide about all the features that are available in Rush. You can see that it provides manifest file, it has Kotlin language support, metadata file and a lot more. Now to install Rush there are two options available to you. You can either use Windows PowerShell or you can use Shell. So the Windows PowerShell is available only for Windows and the Shell option is available for both Windows, Mac and Linux. Now to open the details for installation click on any of these two links. Now as you can see that the installation for PowerShell is really straightforward. You just have to copy this command, hit enter and then you can just uh, copy this command and hit enter in the PowerShell and the rest is done for you. You don't have to edit the path variable, the script will do it for you. But however in case if you are using shell you can use um, git to run this command and then you have to manually add your path variable. Before starting the video I wanted to make a request that a lot of the viewers that watch my video haven't subscribed to the channel. As you can see that 91% uh, of the watch time is coming from non-subscribers and only 9% from those who have subscribed. It takes a lot of effort to make these videos so if you find these videos useful make sure to like and subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to make more videos so please if you haven't like or subscribed already make sure to do so. Now let's get back to the video. So in our case we will use shell so if you are a windows user I will recommend you to use powershell. So let's see what you can uh, do with powershell so minimize this and I will go to the search bar and here I will type powershell and then you need to run this as an administrator. Now here you need to change the network protocol by uh, pasting the command and hitting enter and the next thing that you will do is you will just copy this command and paste it in and then you hit enter and the rest is done for you. Now for now we will use shell so that the tutorial becomes a little bit more global for all the users. Now in order to use shell command you will use uh, git so if you haven't installed git in your device then make sure to do so. If you want to watch a video tutorial you can head over to my channel and you can watch this video installing Apache and, and git. So you will get a detailed uh, guide on how to install git. Now uh, just copy this command and the next thing that you will do is open up git. Now in order to paste a command on git bash you can either right click and click on paste or you can use shift insert. So just right click here and paste and uh, the script will start the installation. So as you can see that the installation is complete the only thing left to do is edit the path variable. To edit the path variable open up the search bar and here type in E and V and you will get this option edit the system environment variables. So click on that and here click on this option environment variables. Now this brings a new dialog and here you can add or delete or update different path variables. So uh, as you can see that there are two options available to you. One is the system variable and other is users variable. Now suppose that you have multiple users on your device and you want to only change for uh, some specific user then you can do that by editing this uh, path variable right here. If you want to do it globally then you will have to do it inside the system variables. Now as you can see that I have a path variable in both the user variable and inside the system variable. Now suppose that you don't have a path variable so what you can do is right uh, click on this new and here you can type in path and then you can add the value as the directory in which the rush is installed. Now for now I will edit the system variable and here you need to click on browse. So rush is installed inside the users folder inside your C drive or whatever drive in which your windows is located. So inside the C drive you have this user folder 
Next, you will open up the folder with your username. So for now, uh, for me, it is Dreamers Lab. So inside that, you will have a .rush folder. So inside this .rush folder, you will have this pin folder. So click on this pin folder and hit OK. So a path should be added to your uh, variable, which is C users, your username and .rush slash pin. So you can also find this path right here which is c users dreamers lab dot rush slash pin now click on ok ok and ok now we will again open up a terminal right here you can either go to the search bar and type in command prompt git bash or whatever terminal that you want to use so i am going to use windows terminal and here just type in rush dash v so this will tell you the version of Rush which is installed on your system. So for now it is 1.2.3. Now this will uh, tell you that uh, the Rush is installed successfully. So this is how you install Rush. So that is it for this video. If you found this video useful then make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions just ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.